There's no objection you can. There's no objection you can give me that I can't handle. Okay. Ooh. Let's go. Okay, I feel like that's a challenge. Oh. Let's go. <clears throat> hey, he's pretty good though. That's your name. My paper is also folded. This was a clue, okay? When you put the numbers down in front of the customer, you lose control because where are the customer's eyes going to go? Straight to the paper. Straight to the numbers. They're not going to hear a word you're saying. They're going to be looking at the numbers going, holy shit. Payments are too high. Not enough discount. Trade's too low. So you want to maintain control of the process. The reason I want you to fold the paper, and some people, you know, some people put it face down, it doesn't matter to me, because I want you to make an opening statement and I want you to recap all the value that comes with the vehicle. By the way, do we want the customer to give us all the money? All of it. Yeah, we do. Do we deserve? Do we deserve to make a good gross profit on the vehicles we sell? Yes. yes, we do. Look, I think most automobile salespeople are underpaid. Am I right? Right. And they're underpaid because, well, it's got nothing to do with the pay plan. It's got everything to do with the skill level. All right? I want to recap all the good stuff that's coming with this vehicle. Each one of you left out two of the strongest parts of your entire program. Water um, say again? Water truck. Uh, no, this is, uh, what do you sell? Mitsubishi. Cars. Cars. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Not tigers, lions, and bears? <laughs> no. All right. Um, you know, we've got a, a decent mix of experience here. 